Hey guys, it's Mike from Galaxy S4 Soft Modder, and in this video I'll be showing you how to get Paranoid Android's Halo feature on your Samsung Galaxy S4 without having to flash the whole Paranoid Android ROM. So just some background info for those of you who don't know. Paranoid Android is a very popular custom ROM that's known for bringing innovative features to the table such as tablet and phablet UI, Pi controls, and the Halo floating window feature, which is what we'll be going over today. So I'll show you guys what it looks like on my Samsung Galaxy S3. So basically you get your notifications in the form of bubbles. And uh, you can hide or dismiss the notification, or you can launch the app in a floating window. So basically it's a really cool multitasking feature, like if you're watching a video or something and you get a text or an email, you can just launch uh, the app in a floating window, respond to it, and get back to your video without having to exit and buffer it all over again. So we're going to be emulating this feature without having to flash the whole Paranoid Android ROM. We're going to be using the Exposed Framework instead. One of the cool things about Exposed is that you can get features that are normally available only through custom ROMs, but without having to flash those custom ROMs. You can pick and choose which features you want. To get the floating window feature, we'll be using the appropriately named X Halo floating window module. It's available right from the exposed repository. There are a bunch of settings that you can play around with, like the transparency of the window, uh, where you want the window to pop up from, if you want in the middle, the side or the corners. Um, you can mess with the size of the window. You can mess around with those settings and tweak them to your liking, but I think it's fine the way it is out of the box, so to speak. If you do want to play around with the settings, you can test them out by going to the testing area. And uh, from here you can launch Exposed Installer or your GS4's settings in the Halo window. Just to demonstrate that, let's turn on the ability to move and resize the windows, or the Halo window. So the testing area and we'll launch Exposed Installer and uh, so that's exposed in a floating window and you notice there's a uh, white triangle. You can tap and drag that to resize and uh, move the window around. So if you want to make any changes to the window you can test it out here but bear in mind some changes do require a reboot or at least a soft reboot to take effect. So now we have the floating window feature on our Galaxy S4, but we still need those chat head style notifications in order to trigger Halo. So to do that, we're going to be using an app called Floatifications by developer Rob J. It's available right from the Google Play Store. It is a trial version, as you can tell from the title, but you get a whole two weeks to play around with it. And if you do like it, it's only two bucks to unlock it after two weeks. So the first time opening the app, you'll get a tutorial showing you how to use it. Uh, you can tap and drag the bubbles around. Uh, you can single tap to uh, show the contents of the notification. Uh, you can double tap to dismiss it. And uh, when you do press the contents of the notification, it'll uh, launch the actual app. So once you're finished with the tutorial, you're going to have to set up uh, Floatifications as a, an accessibility service. So um, to tap on App Notifications and you'll get this little uh, pop-up. Press OK. And it's a shortcut to the accessibility settings. So just scroll down to Services and tap on Floatifications, which will be off. And then it's right here in the upper right corner. Just toggle it on and then just press OK to this pop-up and then you can hit back and then uh, just go to app notifications again and uh, from here you'll be able to choose which apps you want the bubble notifications for so you can stick with apps that you will frequently get notifications for or you can just do what I did and select all of them so once you're done choosing your apps, you can head down to settings and uh, you're going to check the box next to where it says launch apps in Halo window. So whenever you uh, tap your bubble notification, it'll launch the app in Halo. So that's pretty much all there is to setting it up. 
But if you want to customize the bubbles, you can go to customize. So here in the customize menu, you can choose a theme. You can go light or dark. Uh, you can use an icon pack. Any uh, icon pack that works with Apex, uh, you can use. And you can also choose how big the icon is. If you want to get close to uh, how it looks in Paranoid Android, uh, you can go to around 240 or 250. And uh, that's pretty close to how it is in Paranoid Android. And once you're done with that, uh, that's pretty much all there is to set up. So you can test it out by sending yourself an email or something or just wait for a notification to pop up on its own. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, send myself an email. So there's my bubble notification. So I'll just tap on it. And then you got to tap on that part. And it'll bring up Gmail in a Halo window, just like in Paranoid Android. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the full tutorial at Galaxy S4 Softmodder.